For this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation controller to Android 9 and below PlayStation 4 Remote Play. So before I begin, as you can see, this is the Galaxy Note 9. And to show you that there's no tricks or anything, I'm gonna fire up Remote Play. And turn on my system. And now I'm connected. Now I'm gonna show you that I cannot connect the controller to this. So I'm gonna pair my controller to Bluetooth. Wait for the white light. Okay, there you go. And I gotta turn on Bluetooth. Okay, it's connected. And then it says you can use the DualShock 4 and PlayStation 4 Remote Play because this device doesn't support it. So I'm gonna show you how to bypass that without any hacks, mods, or anything. It's a very simple process. So what you wanna do is, you wanna get out of your main account. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, end the connection. Go into the settings. I'm gonna sign out. And I'm going to turn the TV on. Now I have to reconnect my controller. So that way it's synchronized to my PlayStation 4. I'll give me one second. Okay, it's synchronized. Okay, so now I'm on my main account. Now what you wanna do is hold the PlayStation button, go down to power, log out. Now well, this is important. You need a second account in order for this to work. So I'm gonna go on my Sarkhani uh, secondary account. And then I'm gonna turn on the remote plan. I'm going to sign in on this secondary account. Okay, just gonna put the password in. As you can see, there's no tricks, no editing, no nothing. So I'm gonna sign in. Okay, I'm signing in. Okay, I'm, I'm signed in to the secondary account. Now I just need to search for it so I can connect to a remote play. Now it's gonna ask for the code. And that's where this comes in. Okay, uh, first, before you do all this, you wanna make sure you go into your power save settings, set features available in rest mode. You need to have stay connected to the internet, enable turning on PlayStation 4 from network. They both have to be enabled. So once you have that, you wanna go to remote play connection settings, enable remote play and add device. So I could put in the code. So it's seven, four, five, four, nine, five, three, zero. Register. So Connor's connected. I'm in. So now here's the trick. Now you can use this on this, on your main account, now watch. Press the PlayStation button. Now it's gonna ask, 
who is using this controller. Now you want to switch over to your second, your main account. Press A or X. Now I'm still in the second account, but that's okay. Secondary. Press it again. I'm on my main account. Now to show you that there's no tricks and that this works. Put the controller next to it and I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna move this. See? Yes, it's also working on the TV as well. But I'm using a DualShock 4 on my main account. So let's fire up my Zen Evil 2. Okay. Sorry. And press the option button. Now, it's the Note 9. So this should work on all Android 9 devices and below. As long as you have the remote play connected to your secondary, turn your controller on and sign into a second player, which is your main account. And then there you have it. Press square, skip. Now, if there's any problems with you not connecting your controller to remote play on the Android 9 or below, just uh, comment below on my video and I'll see if I can help you. But yeah, I figure I'll make a video and show you how to, I yeah, know it's pretty dark. Yeah, let me just get to the part where I have to shoot the guy. Skip the cutscene. Okay, let's see if I can aim and shoot. See? Pressing it and I'm aim. Press. Shoot. Aim down. Aim up. So there you have it. Thank you for watching.